Welcome back to this edition of Inside Sports. I'm your host, Chris Marks, and we are talking about women's soccer with Maryland Capitals FC members. And right there, you just saw them in training up at the Greenbelt Sportsplex. Okay, so we talked about you guys playing in high school and in college, and uh, now we're going to talk about how you guys came to be playing for Maryland FC in the Women's Premier Soccer League. Well, um, Coach found me through PG because he uh, coached PG this year. Mm -hmm. So I was there a year before him, and the previous coach had told him about me, and that's how he got my number and contacted me about the team. Okay. Um, Dave found me through, I was a senior in high school, he was trying to recruit me to play for PG, but unfortunately they didn't have a team, so I wasn't even going to give it an opportunity. So in the fall I played, uh, in the fall and spring of last year, I played on his WAWSL team, mm -hmm. so she played with me, and uh, that's how we first met, like Dave started playing with him, and then asked us to be on this team. Nice. He found me by Ashley. She actually gave him my number, and he had heard about me from the El Salvador national team. So, so that's how you find you guys, just by one, two, three, and you yeah. like a chain, and you go down the line, and we find people. Talk about the league, the Women's Professional Soccer League. I was doing some research on it, and it's a league that expands all over the country. There's 60 teams in the league. Uh, yeah, it's, got, it's really, really competitive. You know, like you said, it's like, all, na all teams all over the nation and they have like some of the top players, top college players, top um, national players and it's going to be really, really competitive. We should be able to compete pretty well though. We have like, like I think six ex-Washington Freedom players. Really? So, yeah, which is pretty interesting experience. Now, you guys um, are considered one of the amateur teams because you guys are college players. You, yeah. don't, you don't get paid. Do the ex-Freedom players get paid or no? Not, not, I'm not aware. I, of I know the league yeah, is split in, in a way where you can play, pay players, and but obviously if you Most, get paid, you can't play college anymore. Right. Most uh, WPSL players do get paid though. Really? Because like, my friends trying out for Sky Blue in mm -hmm. New Jersey, and two hundred dollars a tryout, they get paid per season. Really? Yeah. Nice, but as a college player, you can't, you can't accept money, I can't or accept you're money. Right. deemed not ineligible you know, and not no. able to play right. anymore. <laughs> 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 is that ultimately the league? will help you though advance as a player is what you're saying definitely yeah I definitely yeah for sure uh, okay so what what does this league do and th coach Dave Jones what did what do they do that your college doesn't like is it a step up in competition is it stuff like that I think it has a lot to do with the players that we're playing with mm -hmm. uh, they're just more experienced and uh, to us younger players on the team like we could just look up to them and um, kind of follow their lead and help ourselves develop, become better players. I definitely say the competition's a lot better too. Mm -hmm. Playing with like older people and younger people, like being able to mix and learn things from one another. It's just great experience to become a better player than we already are. Now, although you don't get paid, it's like a professional team. So, what are the differences between playing on a professional team as opposed to playing in college? What are the biggest differences? I feel like there's a little more pressure. Really? <laughs> Just a little bit more. Because mm -hmm. um, when you're when you're playing for when we play for Washington Venice, like mm -hmm. we want to do well, like for our school. But when we're playing for a WPSL team, we just want to do better for the team and get ourselves out there and mm -hmm. get well known. We also want to like win. Yeah, winning would be said. awesome. <laughs> now there's another team in the area that's based out of Prince George. I mean, Anne Arundel County, which is the Chesapeake Charge. Is that going to be a rival with you guys? I think so. We'll see. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know anybody who plays on that team? Oh yeah, we were actually going to have a, a girl played with us on our women's team on Wednesday nights. Uh, she was going to play with our team. She practiced with us a few times. And then she decided last, like, last night she was playing with the charge. Kind of let down. Really? Yeah. yeah. She's really good. She's very good. Okay, so is it, a, is it a competition between the two teams to get players then? I okay. think so, because we have like two charge players on our team as well. Really? Yeah. And you had just one defect to go back to the other side there. Yeah. So I can only assume that this is going to be one of your rival teams to charge, the Chesapeake yeah, Chargers. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By far. Um, do you know about uh, any other teams that you will be playing this year? I know the schedule's not out, but any teams in the region that you will be playing? Um, not in the region, not around here, but I know that the team from Indiana will be coming to um, PG Sports and Learning Complex to play a preseason game with us. Oh, okay. And I think we're going there to we're play We're going there and they're well. coming here, yeah. Okay, so it's like a two-game little mm -hmm. series that you yeah. guys are playing? Mm -hmm. Okay, so talk about, we just saw some of the video of that training on the inside on the turf. Talk about just playing on the turf just like that and, and having Dave yell at you because you could hear him yelling in the, in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's it's actually kind of fun to be back 
uh, having a coach like push you to get better. Mm -hmm. And Coach Jones is he's really good. He really put he pushes you to do well, but he's also like supporting you. Mm -hmm. So uh, he has a lot of experience. You can tell by the way he talks and like the things he tells us to do. If you're not doing something right, Ashley do this, Ashley do that. I love him as a coach. Yeah. He's awesome. Mm -hmm. I love him as a coach too. He's very supportive when he, I mean, in every aspect. Like he's, I know with him, we're gonna become better players and with the better competition, it's just gonna be great. I just can't wait. Now you guys pl all play in college and you're also gonna be playing in this league. How are you gonna juggle playing uh, both teams? Well, our coach is really supportive of the whole thing, so he'll be a little lenient about letting us, you know, if we have to miss a spring practice to go to the Capitals practice, like, that'd be okay. I think so, because uh, actually, I believe from what Dave told me, we're actually going to, Washington Venice is actually going to scrimmage around Capitals. I think we're going to, like, split up, like, as in play one half with the Capitals, one half with our school. Really? Yeah, which would be pretty awesome. Okay. Do you, is there any other players from Washington Adventist on, on the team besides no. you two? No. Okay, and you said you might be going to Washington and Venice? I might year? be. I'm looking at that possibility right now. Really? So there would be three, three of you guys on, on the, the, the capital <laughs> <laughs> Three guys on the capital team. Now, you guys are going to play over at Sportsplex. Have you ever played up there on that field? We practiced there. Oh, you do? A, few, a couple times in the spring of last year. Mm -hmm. We were, like, not WPSL yet, but, yeah, we did it a few times. You guys like the field? Yeah, it's pretty nice. What do you prefer playing on, the turf, like at Greenbelt, or... The uh, our regular grass. Nothing compares to being outside on a field on regular really? grass. Just not. It, de it depends how nice the grass is, though, because some grass, <laughs> like our home yeah. field for Washington and Venice, is god awful. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but tur I I'd say turf. That's my preference. You like, you like playing I on turf, turf better. Artificial turf. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's nice. Now I didn't really. We got into this conversation. We were talking. I didn't even ask you like what position you guys play. And um, let's get into that now. What position do you play? I play right back. You play right back. So you're a defender. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, talk about what Dave has taught you guys at, in with Maryland Capital as opposed to what you've learned uh, at Washington Adventist and how you're going to use uh, use what he's taught you to, to better yourself. Well with Dave it's uh, you just have to push yourself and exhaust everything you have mm -hmm. like as a player mm -hmm. and then with Washington Adventist it's more like you know I can keep up easily. So, oh really? Yeah. So you have to find a way to to motivate yourself right? and playing with this new league it that's good to go. Exactly. Do you, did you ever play forward or were you always a defender? Well, it depends on where, at Washington events, it depends on where they need me. Like, mm -hmm. I'll play forward if they need me to play forward, but I really prefer to play right back because that's where I've always played, like, for my club team when I was in high school. So It's got to be a, a completely different set of rules when you're playing defender where you're marking someone and then you're playing forward with your back toward the goal. Right. Yeah. It is. It really is. But, I mean, <laughs> you could do it, you know. Yeah. Now, what, what position do you play? I play attacking center mid. Okay, so you so you are going forward. Going forward, mid, yeah. Mid, Distributing mid the ball. Yeah. Um, playing center mid, you, you're kind of the quarterback of the team then, right? Yeah. Yeah? Definitely. And you doing you play uh, center mid on both teams? Yes. Okay. But, like, sometimes the formation changes. So, like, do, do you get moved around, you know, if it's, like, 4-4-2 four, four, or 4-3-1-2-1, four, one, one, you know? Uh, it just depends. Like, if we have, like two center mids then I mean obviously I have a little bit of help so mm -hmm. we're just going from side to side if it's one center mid then I'm just running like kind of like all over the place distributing like mm -hmm. running forward and back and then if we have like we play a three five two we have three center mids mm -hmm. which I play more attacking distribute the ball sometimes score okay so there's a there's an attacking center mid there, there's a hold right and that's a defender yeah kind of stays back to yeah. run the middle of the field okay what what system do you play with the with the capitals um I'm not really sure. I think I believe we play a four four two from okay. our, don't we play a four four two? I think 4 so. Four four two. I think so. So there'll be another person sure. in the middle with you. Yeah. Okay. And what what position do you play? I play the mid as well. Center also, mid. Center mid. Mm -hmm. So you guys have maybe on the field together then? Um, Hopefully. Really? Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> are you more of an attacker or are you more of a defender? Uh more of a defender. Uh -oh. Well, in Montgomery College I played both, but mm -hmm. most of the time I play defender, center mid. Okay. A lot of people will watch soccer and not realize that there are set plays and, and <coughs> things to get things done on the field. A lot of people just think they just run around and kick the ball. Yeah. Can you just comment on some of, the, you know, some of the set plays and some of the things that you guys have been working on with, uh, with the Capitals? We haven't really gotten that far yet. <laughs> like we're, right now we're okay. still getting to know each other as players. And, but I know as, as we start practicing together, I know 
coach has like some tricks up his sleeve that really? he's probably gonna teach us. So I just think like it depends who you play with. Like me and her play really well together. Mm -hmm. We have chemistry on the field. Like once we get like she said, get to know who we who we're playing with, how they play, the runs they're gonna make, mm -hmm. then we'll be like unstoppable. Good. Yeah. Talk about set plays such as corner kicks. <laughs> Are they similar in every league that you play in, or? Is there a lot? Because you, when you watch it on TV, you see everyone's just elbowing each other, trying to make a move and to head the ball in. So yeah. I, I've always wanted to know. So. Yeah, I think there's more strategy to it than that. Well, I know there's more strategy to that than that, but um, it depends on the coach. It depends on what they want you to do. Mm -hmm. And it depend, depends on the player because sometimes you'll have people stay at the top of the box, and then you'll have the people mm -hmm. who are good at heading run into the box to head the ball. Well, as a defender, you're usually one of the ones in the back. It depends on how good you are in the air. It depends, yeah. like, per player. Because yeah. when, when you're on a corner kick, it depends on the player more. I mean, and it depends less on the on the position that you're in. So. Now, I know you guys don't may not know the answer to this, but uh, what's a regular week going to be like once the season starts? How many days are you guys going to be practicing? Games usually on Saturdays? Are they Thursday night? What's what's going on with that? I do know we're going to practice three days a week. That's mm -hmm. all I know. I don't know about game times. I, I believe weekends. Like, our preseason games are going to be on weekends. Oh, really? So when, when is the first preseason game? March. March. Okay, so you guys have a full month to get together. I mean, when when do the three days a week practice start now? I mean, beginning of March. Right? Yeah, beginning, beginning of March. March. Yeah. So you guys have a whole month yeah. without doing anything, or? Yeah, pretty much. But I mean, we've been having like small practices, like the ones at Greenbelt, mm -hmm. like um, once in a while. Okay. But March is when we really start getting into it. Okay. Now, do you guys, in the meantime, play any other? Club teams, oh, yeah. pick up games yeah, on definitely. the side? We play a lot. All, all the time. Oh, okay. Talk about time. talk about that. So where do you guys play? Well, what do you guys do? Well, we play together on Wednesday nights in a women's league at oh, really? a, another indoor facility. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And where, where is that? At Landover. Oh, Landover? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, how many uh, how many teams in that league? And are you guys all on the same team? Or? Yeah, we're on the same, same team. There's okay. eight teams. We actually just lost in the championship this week on oh, Wednesday really? uh, to like our rival team. I believe they have three charge players, Chesby charge players. Yeah, they really? Do, yeah. <laughs> so, and then I definitely on, want to be them. On Monday nights, me and Ashley play at Greenbelt Sportsplex on a co-ed team there. Oh, really? And yeah. Okay, that's a really nice facility. DC United also practices up there every oh, once yeah. in a while. Yeah. We get up there. It's really nice. See them. Yeah. Pretty new. It is. <laughs> it looks like it's in a storage shed, yeah. but it, <laughs> yeah. it is really, really nice. Um, any okay? We have just a short amount of time left. Anything else you guys want to add about you know the women's premier soccer league, Maryland Capitals FC? Um, we just we want to encourage people to come out and watch our games and mm -hmm. come support us as we try to get some wins. And for yeah, I agree. Need the support. Yeah. Anything else? No. no? Okay, well, we are out of time. I want to thank you guys, Breezy, Ashley, Zulia, for being my guest here today on uh, Inside Sports. And we hope to have you back here again and talk about more soccer, maybe when the season starts and uh, get some results on the table there and see what's going on. And thank you for joining me here today on Inside Sports. I'm your host, Chris Marks. We've been talking with Maryland Capital FC soccer players, and we will see you here next time on Inside Sports. Thanks for joining me.